Hello friends, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And today I'm in Luminar Neo and I'll be talking about what I consider the five reasons why photographers continue to adopt this product and use it for their photo editing. I think it's a great product. I've been using it for years and of course I've got 200 plus videos here on YouTube talking about my use of the product and how to get the most out of it. I think it's great. It's full featured. It's fantastic and I love it. And in fact, I would like to thank the team from Luminar Neo for sponsoring this video. One of the things I want to talk about before I jump into those five reasons is that they're having an amazing giveaway this month and it lasts for a little bit longer. I want to make you aware of that. There is a link right below where you can click that and if you do, it'll take you to this website. You can see they're having a photography giveaway. If, uh, if you click enter now, you can enter your email address, but the big prizes are a DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and a Fujifilm XM5. And so you click, you enter your name and your email address, and it will take you to this page. This page is basically where you collect points. Every point gets you more opportunities to win prizes. And honestly, it's super easy stuff. You don't have to buy anything to even enter these, uh, get these points, right? You can refer others. You can download a free trial of Luminar Neo or a free trial of Luminar Mobile. You can subscribe to their YouTube channel, their Instagram, their Facebook. You can click here to get a deal on Luminar if you do want to buy it tag them on Instagram. You can read all that as you click through and check it out, but I highly recommend that you do that. It's free and you get an opportunity to win amazing prizes like a Pocket 3 or an XM5 from Fuji. I think it's pretty amazing stuff. And for additional prizes include getting a lifetime license or uh, getting additional discounts on Luminar products. And so having said all that, again, I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. And what I want to do is talk about what I consider the five reasons why people are continuing to adopt this product. I think it's fun and fantastic and powerful. And for me, reason number one is it's a complete solution regardless of where you are in your skills uh, for editing photos. What I mean by that is if you're new, let's say, you might be thinking about all the things you have to do. I gotta catalog my photos, I gotta sort my photos, rate them, edit my photos, save my photo, all that kind of stuff. We can do all of that in Luminar. You've got a full catalog option here. We can set up different folders and albums. And from a catalog, you can jump over to the presets where you can apply looks automatically to your photos and you can jump into editing as well. The other nice thing about it is you can actually sort based on lots of different information, including capture day, when they've been edited, the camera that you took them with, and then more specific things like the focal length, the ISO, the aperture, shutter speed, and even the file format. It's powerful and having that ability to sort quickly and get through and find the photos that you're looking for is really key. Now, other cool things about this product that I think make it a complete solution is, if you look over here on the right-hand side, you've got generative AI tools if you wanna take advantage of that, but you've also got merging tools if you wanna do HDR or pano or focus stacking. You've also got the ability to do upscale to get a higher resolution photo. And this works as a standalone product, as I'm showing here, or as a plugin from popular apps like Lightroom or Photoshop or Photos for Mac. So you put all that together and that's why I think it's a complete solution, which is one of the reasons that it's getting adopted so well. Now the second reason is that I think it's easy to learn and to get great results quickly. Let's say you take a photo like this one, you can jump over to the presets tab. It'll suggest different preset categories that may be a good fit for you. You can jump in, let's say you grab easy landscapes. I'm going to take this long exposure and you click and you apply that to your photo. If you look at the before and the after, you can see it's done a bit of the heavy lifting for you. So again, if you're kind of new to photo editing, this is going to help you get started quickly. But the nice thing is you can jump over to the edit tab and when you click here, you can actually see the different tools that are included in the preset. So you can adjust that to suit your taste if it doesn't exactly fit what you want in the photo, but you can also add additional tools to it. Maybe you want to come in and do a little bit more with something, or maybe you want to add additional bits of warmth to the photo to kind of brighten that up and warm it up and create a little bit more of that sunset vibe. So you can really quickly go from an unedited photo to an edited photo without a lot of work. And that's why I think it's so great for beginners. The other nice thing is, all the different tools that are here, it doesn't matter what kind of photos you take because when you're first starting out in photography, you might be thinking, hey, I'm gonna take some portraits, I'm gonna do some weddings, I'm gonna also do some senior shots. Oh, by the way, I like landscapes and also we're traveling to cities. Maybe I'll take some shots there. You have tools that will help you with any of them. It doesn't matter what kind of photos you take, whether it's portraits, landscapes, cityscapes, street shots, you have the ability to adjust all of them with the powerful tools in Luminar. That's why I think it's so great for beginners.
Now, as I said, it's also got a lot of great tools, including some AI tools, but these are not the kind of AI tools that are going to take over and do everything for you. The AI is assistive in that it's like a companion, a compadre, someone that's hanging out and helping you do the stuff that's either tedious or boring or you just hate to do. I love that about these AI tools because they really help you get to the results that you want pretty darn quickly and without a lot of fuss. So I can just make some basic adjustments here to my photo, and this is not an AI tool. This is just kind of the getting started. Then I can jump into Accent AI, and it will give me a bit more of a pop in that photo, help me enhance that sky, and you can see that I can quickly make a big impact on the photo with just a couple of sliders. Structure AI is another great one where it gives you the ability to come in, add a little bit of crunch and a little bit of punch to that photo, and then maybe you can come into Twilight Enhancer AI, and add a little bit of that more sunset type look to your image. And you can see pretty quickly with these AI tools that are assistive, that are helping you get things done more quickly, you can take a photo that look like that, turn it into something like that. And that's what I love about the AI in Illuminar. It's a great editing companion. It doesn't take over and drive for you. You're still telling it what to do, but it's helping you get the hard things done quickly. Now, the other thing that I love about this, and this is reason number four, is that there are so many tools, as you can see here, and they're so good and so powerful that this really applies and is useful for pro editors as well. Whether you consider yourself a beginner or an intermediate or an advanced editor, there are tools and tricks and tips and things that you can do in Luminar that will really make your images pop regardless of what your skill level is. So maybe you've got an edit like that, but you want to do additional things. Well, there's powerful tools that will do things like sky replacement or mood enhancement. You can add LUTs, you can add blur, you can do all kinds of things. So you have advanced tools that give you the ability to really customize the look of your image and get the look that you want. And these are powerful creative tools as well, like color transfer, where you can come in and pick a reference photo. Maybe it's something that's a bit more sunset looking and you can come in and apply that to your photo and get something like that where you automatically and quickly get a nice look. And then you can dial it in to suit your taste but it gives you the ability to come in and quickly do things that are creative that can help you kind of achieve your artistic vision without fussing around for a long time with a lot of different tools. So it's advanced and powerful for advanced users, but it's also really creative and it strikes a nice balance between those two. And the fifth reason is, in my opinion, one of the great features of Luminar is all the different masking tools. So let's take this tool that I just used. You can come in and you can see you've got a brush mask, so you could brush in this adjustment just to certain areas, or you can use a linear or radial gradient. There's also color masking, so you can go in and create a mask based on a color or a, sh a range of colors in a photo. Luminosity mask, which is one of my favorites, allows you to apply that just to specific tonal areas, but you can also use mask AI to select specific parts of the photo, like maybe just the sky, object select, just like maybe a rock. In this case, one of the advanced features that I love to use all the time is a luminosity mask. It's going to allow you to select and create a mask based on light values. So I just applied this color look, but maybe I want it to apply mostly in the highlights. That's what a luminosity mask will do for me. So I just come in, I select my luminance range that I want this mask to apply to, and I want it mostly in the highlights, and I'm going to fade that through the midtones and only barely just touch the edge of the shadows. And now I've applied that color look mostly in those brighter areas and I can dial it in to suit my taste, but that gives you a lot of power and a lot of control. And that's what's so great about masking. And overall, those are the five reasons that I think people are adopting Luminar Neo because it's so powerful and it gives you all these creative tools and it's a complete solution. So Having said that, again, I want to thank Luminar Neo for sponsoring this video, and I highly recommend that you check out that link below and participate in this giveaway. They're going to be giving that away in early March. You can win a Fuji camera or an Osmo Pocket 3. Enter to win. Again, no purchase necessary. You might even get a free copy of this amazing software. That's a video for today, my friends. I appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out. I'll be back soon with more Luminar Neo videos, and until next time, you guys take care and adios.